Good morning, runners. This is Will from We Run Las Vegas. Just giving you an update on what's going on with the cruise lines in Las Vegas, what's going to be the new norm from now, and how they're going to be operating. A lot of the cruise lines now are gearing up to start back early June, and they're going to be doing the shorter cruises, the two and three day cruises. You won't see any of the seven or 14 day or 21 day cruises no time soon. Um, and that's the way they're going to be running it for now. Um, a lot more social distancing on cruises. Um, Servers going to be handing your food more so than it's going to be you going up to the buffets on the cruise lines and getting it yourself. You're going to have probably be operating at 50%. I can't see a cruise line putting two to 3,000 passengers on a cruise anymore, no time soon. And that's going to be the new normal for cruises. And as, as far as, um, pricing i don't know i think the pricing is going to go up a little bit because they got to accommodate for the people that's not going to be on cruise maybe early on you'll see a lot of discounts and a lot of special to drive traffic back to cruising but once they get back unfortunately i think they're going to go up on the pricing of tickets because of all the the, the lack of clientele per se and we'll see we'll just see how it goes but starting off i think you'll get a couple of discounts here and there on certain cruise lines especially if you start looking now for like june july maybe all the way up until the end of the year but the turn of next year it's got the they got to make up the, the funding of the money that was lost quote unquote um during this pandemic we'll see how it works out and enjoy the view i'm going to show you some more of the cruises are the cruise lines that's in um i think you got royal caribbean that's in princess cruise line norwegian carnival they're all docked here in south florida and as i'm going across the bridge i give you a better view of what cruise lines are in so you enjoy your day Carnival there, you got Princess Cruise Lines here, you got, I think that's Norwegian, I think you got one Royal Caribbean up the front, you got a few of the um, bigger cruise line, lines that's still docked in port here in Miami, a lot of them are Fort Lauderdale, they're, they're not docked in port, they're out at sea, you got what this is, Norwegian Epic, Larger ones. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think you'll do any more than they may have seven days. They may, but that that's gonna probably be later in the year. But I know the three and four day cruises are definitely gonna, gonna start back early June. And I mean, that's that's the new norm. coming in we got some sights it's moving in coming in from couldn't tell you exactly where but got one coming in ladies and gentlemen all types of goods merchandise from all around the world Right there on this container ship. That's how it comes in. It goes down there to the port. But like I was saying, as far as casinos go, I don't think you're gonna get the same casino activity that we used to get in Vegas. But because of the coronavirus, you're gonna have another thing's gonna probably be at 50% capacity. Um, slot machines is not gonna be slot machines that you can play right next to each other because they'll spread them apart as far as the distancing maybe they'll disable one or two behind behind each other um, another thing what will happen um you'll probably get in the hotel itself you won't get full capacity right away 
pools. We won't be able to use the pool. No pool parties. The shows, I'm just quite sure they're gonna do the mask and the social distancing at the shows as well. You'll get 50% capacity as far as the shows go. Um, yeah, the table games, there'll be less people at the table games. Probably won't be able to stand around and watch someone gamble. Uh, back to that table per se, probably only be two or three people at the table. Leads to even like what the shows were leads up to maybe the beginning of the, the prices will stay the same to keep people there, but they're gonna have to make up for that loss of people in those shows. So you'll probably either see a third show added because most shows have two shows per night. You'll probably see a third show added to make up some revenue or the price of tickets, which are probably gonna go up regardless, regardless, you know, no matter what. And like I said, the same thing that make cruise ships exciting, you get people from all over the world. The same thing with the shows, you get these entertainers from all over the world. And the same thing what makes them exciting is also bad as well because now, because people are from everywhere, you're gonna have more testing, more precaution put into casinos and hotels to make them safer. So just giving you some update on what the new normal's gonna look like. And hopefully you can understand it and we can still get back to Vegas and have fun like we used to and do our thing. I mean, runners just enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy some of the sites that I'm going to show you. This over here is called Fisher Island, in case some of you are wondering. Oprah, a bunch of big names have places over there. It's Fisher Island. This pink building behind Smith and Lewinsky, in case you're familiar with South Florida, it's all boarded up because of the coronavirus. This is the continuance. This is the pink looking building. There's Portofino. And I'm at South Point on South Beach. Let me give y'all a little walking tour. Just a couple of feet. The water is, whew, looks nice out there. It's clearing up, I guess not too much pollution with any boats and not a lot of boat traffic and all of that stuff going on. So you have better, <laughs> better uh, conditions for the water. And we're starting to open back up. You have people walking, you got a photo shoot going on here. Guy and his kid and his dog. <laughs> Nice photo shoot going on. That's Portofino. We're doing some morning exercising, bike riding. I mean, we're coming to some sort of normalcy in South Florida. We walk across the park, back over to us to continue. I came in at. Guy enjoying throwing the ball. Hey, this is going to be the new normal now. <laughs> I guess it's going to be a lot cleaner, <laughs> a lot less people. <laughs> but y'all enjoy y'all day runners. Just giving y'all some updates, letting y'all see what's going on. A little bit of day and time of my morning. Y'all have a nice one.